Life is expensive. And we work hard to provide our family and our children with what they need to succeed in life. We carefully choose their school to ensure they have the right start in life. We also need to give them the tools they need to thrive financially. For example, Rahul. He started teaching his kids, 9-year-old Deepa and 13-year-old Sachin, life lessons about finance and money management when they were just 5 years old using everyday events and routines. He began small. He started taking them to buy a packet of milk or bread in the morning. He'd give them the money, let them march into the shop and buy the item. This taught them basic commerce. You have to pay money to buy goods. It also improved their maths and accounting skills as they had to get back the right amount of change. Rahul also started to cultivate good financial habits using kid-friendly routes. He gave them piggy banks to deposit spare change, birthday money, cash gifts from grandparents and more. He explained to them that if they save their money once a quarter, they could make a withdrawal to buy something they really wanted. If they saved, he would give them an additional amount which would help them buy more. This encouraged them to save, introduce the banking system and the concept of delayed gratification to them. As they grew older, he switched out their single money bank to a set of transparent jars with labels. He asked them to think about what they would like to buy in the future. A hoverboard, a piano, a bike and label each jar accordingly. He helped them find out how much it would cost to buy their dream item. They wrote down the targeted amount on each. He then increased the amount by 10% and wrote down the new number. He advised them to work towards the bigger amount as prices rise over time and he didn't want them to be disappointed when it was time to make their purchase. He also advised them that while they could invest higher portions in goals they wanted to achieve sooner, it was a smart idea to place some money every month into long-term goals like buying a bike when they are 18. Money jars in place. He gave them the freedom to deposit their allowance and any money they received into any jar as they wanted. This activity helped them learn about goal setting, systematically investing to achieve goals, inflation, planning and prioritizing their goals, goal horizons and asset allocation. Each quarter, he encouraged Deepa and Sajjan to take account of how much they have and check how close they were to achieving their goal. If they hadn't reached their targeted amount, he would offer them a loan with the understanding that they would have to pay him back using future allowances and monetary gifts. And until the money had been paid back, there would be no quarterly withdrawals or interest. This taught them of the fallacies of the credit system. However, if they had reached their target amount and they were still sure that they wanted their dream item, they would head out to make a purchase. This taught them how to budget to evaluate their goals and the sweetness of achieving their goals. Rahul and his wife Sheila also encouraged their children to think and ask questions about finance by openly discussing their own financial goals and the different investment instruments available from traditional instruments like fixed deposits to potential inflation beating instruments like mutual funds. These discussions indirectly taught their children about the pros and cons of different financial instruments as well as expose them to the concept of investing and how everyday factors from natural disasters to taxes affect the market and potential growth. By using everyday experiences and situations, Rahul and his wife work towards teaching their children about essential financial concepts and good financial habits and turning them into financial savvy adults. Start teaching your child financial ABCs today and turn your child into a financially savvy adult tomorrow. An investor education and awareness initiative of Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.